Welcome back. We're talking all about the Puerto Rican Parade of Rochester, and uh, it precedes the festival this year. And with us are two people who want to talk all about the wonderful things happening. Sylvia Gonzalez and uh, Patricia Cruz Irving join us this morning. Uh, they're part of this whole effort to get people out to downtown Rochester to have that parade and celebrate Rochester's Hispanic pride. And there is, uh, for people in, in Rochester who don't know, uh, Puerto Ricans make up about 60,000. Uh, there's about 60,000 Puerto Ricans mm -hmm. in Monroe County. And it, every Every year, this parade is a way to sort of collectively and in an organized way celebrate uh, the beauty and the art this year, which is a wonderful theme of the parade, right? Right, exactly. This year's theme is artistic Hispanic traditions. Yeah. And we've been working on this, I think, for the past eight months. Something like that, yes. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's a huge undertaking. Yeah. <laughs> so you really focused on the artwork of the community and the artistic endeavors, and that's so much. I mean, there's so much to celebrate when it comes to that in addition to the heritage, right? Right. So we can talk more about, you know, when we spoke about the theme this year, we yeah. chose artistic Hispanic traditions. Yeah, why did you choose that this year? Um, I think we every year we think about what fits best for us, and I think that um, it seems like this year um, the arts have been a huge topic, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and, and even in the Latino community. So we decided that, well, we should join everyone yeah. um, and kind of give the opportunity to all those Latino artists that people don't know about mm -hmm. to showcase what they have and mm -hmm. what they could do. The event, of course, celebrates Hispanic heritage uh, in our community and the pride that people feel uh, being from not even just Puerto Rico, but <coughs> from Hispanic nations all over. People mm -hmm. just feel very welcome to celebrate. Um, talk about the, this parade and how it fits in with the Puerto Rican festival. Well, one of the things that people need to remember is that there are two separate committees for each yes because each event event is a huge undertaking right so we have a committee for the PR festival and we also have a committee for the PR parade right we do work together and we all get along very well but they're not the same event exactly mm -hmm. and but since we are on that topic one thing that's really important to remember is that people always talk about the things that happen that supposedly take place at the PR festival or what you see in the news or what happens afterwards that's not the PR festival mm -hmm. those are not people who have gone to the PR festival and so for years now the PR festival has been getting a bad name mm -hmm. because of that mm -hmm. and the people some of the people who live in that community have been getting a bad name because of that right but we have had people who have gone down those streets afterwards and a lot of the people who cause the trouble don't even live in those neighborhoods mm -hmm. so they come from other neighborhoods and right. cause problems there and they don't even go to the per they don't even go exactly. to the festival or the parade they don't take part in the organized no. events so you're encouraging people listen listen <laughs> come to the parade come to the festival and then go home because each individual event is so wonderful it's like a family reunion when you go to these uh, the, the festival and even the parade you're seeing all these people you know from so long ago um, or you haven't seen in a long time and you celebrate you mm -hmm. celebrate with one another the event on Saturday is the parade and it starts at what time and where does it start the proclamation is at 10 o'clock okay and it starts at Liberty Pole Way okay so if people want to go they can start there and then follow you along the parade route right okay Main awesome Street. Yep. and this is video from uh, last year and again it is so much fun because look at it I mean you're celebrating uh, look at this Puerto Rico's infantry you know Puerto Rico's involvement in uh, in the military mm -hmm. <laughs> look at this I mean it's just so beautiful um, but it, it's free you can just come on down 10 o'clock the parade begins at 11 and you meet at Liberty Pole Way. I love the floats, too. The floats are a big deal. This goes back so many years, doesn't it? It's, it's part of our history in Rochester. It, it goes back as long as the festival has been in place. You know, it was, it was on and off for a couple of years, but the, for the last 11 years, this committee picked it up, and, and we've been, yeah. you know, coming together, and we hope that we could continue the, the tradition. That's good. Yeah. And, the, and, the per, and the festival is where now this year? It's still that um, Frontier Field. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. So it starts Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. Great. And then the parade is on Saturday. Don't miss it. 11 o'clock. Ladies, thank you so much. Of course. We're thank looking you. forward thank to it. Thank you for it. having us. And hope the weather holds up for you. I think it's going to be nice. I hope so. We'll be right back. A look at the headlines and the forecast next.